Guys, hey, so here's my video. Okay, I know this is, you're looking for a short video, but what I have here is what's going to get you really into Hammer Editor for Left 4 Dead 2. And everything worked on the website, except a couple of things should be, like, in, uh, in, imposed, you know, like, Okay, so I need this. Okay, so you've probably come across this website, and it'll this page on Valve will say make an add-on, create a home page at the end. Now, you don't need a home page. I actually did find a file share server that did work, but it was not exactly what I wanted. I wanted I wanted it to be in the workshop, and now that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So, right now it says the first thing to do is to create the add-on folder. So, you're going to go open up and get to this folder. If you can see it here, it's in my Steam library, Steam, X, Steam apps, it, right now, common, and then it goes into Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead, and then just add-ons. So now we have this page, which everything is missing. So we just, we have the, you go to this here and create the add-ons folder in there. If there's not a, one there already. Okay, that's what it's saying. Then the next one says, make, the, make a new folder inside the add-ons directory and give it the appropriate name. So what it wants you to do is it wants you to create a folder with this stuff in it. Okay. So the name of my map is Don't Lag Me Bro and then apparently it's one, two, three, four. For the amount of times that I edited it, I had to change the name several times, which is something that I don't want you to do while you're watching this video. So Left 4 Dead 2 add ons deadlines. Now you have your add on folder. Now you need a deadlines map and a missions folder. So what you do is you have your BSP. Let's say you did the navigation map. Now maybe I'll make a video for that later on how to do navigation meshes because Left 4 Dead maps have directors and directors spawn zombies around all the, the parts of the map for you. And then you can make zombie spawns and they'll create a certain, like if you trigger it maybe 10 times so it's 10 zombies you have a ton of zombies running around now like more than you can handle believe me and the music will start playing probably now I don't know how to exactly make the finale it didn't really work but I was able to mark it on the navigation mesh so that's what you do so take your finished map now and put so you're gonna go to Left 4 Dead 2 and then you're gonna go to maps this folder and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find the map you have your completed navigation mesh and everything named cool because that's the name of my map it's also called don't lag me bro but for this purposes it's cool that's the name of the map so you go here you go back you go to your add-ons folder you create your folder so it's don't lag me bro you create your maps oops create your maps folder boom Okay, not boom. <laughs> Let's go to the maps. Cool. Copy. Add-ons. Don't lag me, bro. Maps. Boom. Okay. So now you have your BS BSP and your your cool nav. And this will be making the BSP file soon. So now it's saying you have your maps. You have all your materials this is this you could skip this unless you have custom materials you can skip all the way down to secondary game assets and even further sound cache not important map thumbnail previews not important right now create the metadata files okay so now you need an add-on.info.txt in here okay and it wants you to create the missions folder. So I'm going to create the missions folder. And I'm going to create the add-on.txt. 
Now this is the website that you use. Okay, you go here, you scroll down, you copy all, oh, what does it say, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. So go to Left 4 Dead 2, it's important, I'll tell you, I have more involving Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2 in the scripts later. It's an important fact, that feature, that's making a problem. So, now you go here, and you copy that, you create, in this directory, the add-ons, your map name folder, and you create a new text document. See, I right click, new text document, hold add on, what's it called? Add on info dot text. Add on info, and then it's a text document. Now you're going to paste the Left 4 Dead 2 section and we're going to get <clears throat> we're going to get back to the URL. But for now, go here and delete the one that he had. Check to see if it's campaign survival scavenge versus map. Otherwise, you'd put a one in that campaign. So for campaign, you put a one in that category. So right now, I had, I had a campaign map, so I clicked one. And then uh, you could delete this, I think. Change the name of your map. 550 can stay because that's the name that's the actual number for that designates left for dead in the steam ID so the add-on title is don't lag me bro save it'll ask you for extra things you click X okay now it's asking for a missions text so those are if you want to add images, the root folder, the add-on image, you could probably put that in, so you're exporting it from VTF edit, something like that. Mission file. Okay, so let's click on it. Now, you have this structure, okay? Versus survival from that. Okay, so you have the mission file. So you go, you go to this here. Copy this. Uh, go back to. Let's see. Now let's check to see which one is the right one. So it's add-ons. We're working on that one right now. Uh, downloads. Okay. So then we go to add-ons. We go back to your folder, missions.txt, missions folder. And we're going to call this new text document. Don't flag me, bro. Mission or something. It doesn't matter. Now we're going to double click it and we're going to paste the mission file. Now, this is where it gets tricky now, okay? So now you definitely want to have right here. to look like this one. Don't flag me, bro. And you can change the author, I think. 
But okay, so that's fine. Also, I had a problem where the melee weapon I had in spawn wasn't showing up, so I added it. It was the machete. So you literally just put one of these semicolons and type machete and save it. And now the this is the URL for the game. Now let me get into that. Now once you have this file, let me click this off. Once you have this file, this add-on info that we worked on for Left 4 Dead 2 as it says on top, not Left 4 Dead 1. Okay. Now we actually have everything we need to make the map. So now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our Left 4 Dead 2, it's common Left 4 Dead 2 bin. Okay? You're going to scroll down Okay, and you're going to see this file right here. It's called vpk.exe. It's an application. And what you do is you go to your add-ons folder. And we're going to call this don't lag me bro 24 for now. Oh. Okay, whatever. And it doesn't matter. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to take this folder and we're going to drag it into vpk. Now it'll create this file, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to Steam, you're going to go to the authoring tools, it's a tool, you're going to open it up, go to workshop manager, add, I'm going to call this one test map 23, description cool map has has descriptions find an image that is below I don't know like four megabytes or something it says so I just picked this image because it's small it actually works browse for your file now we're gonna go to where the VPK is paste it double click it set it as campaigns of its campaign or if you checked it in one of the other boxes on the uh, missions text that's what you do and then accept and upload now it's gonna upload my map this is your map now what you do is you copy the link on top like I just did you click OK it shows up here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the folder where the add-on was you're gonna go to the missions text don't lag me bro mission and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna go here to the website you're gonna paste the web page of the workshop that we just copied. Save it. What you're going to do now is you're going to go here, you're going to delete the map, and it doesn't work on the first time sometimes for me. So I click X, delete add on. Deleted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Don't Lag Me Bro. I would actually clear the workshop. I, I would literally clear out of the workshop. Go back to the workshop manager. Edit. Again. Completely the same way as we did before. like the category except upload now when people join your game you they will be able to see the download link for the test map and everything I just did should work so that's all you gotta know thanks for watching my video have a good day